Hello fellow LiveBinder users. This is a quick little tutorial video on how to make an interactive link. Thanks goes out to Mike Fisher in response to a Twitter post I'd put out about my ePortfolio. As you see here, we're inside my ePortfolio. And yes, these are the sub tabs that most of you that are LiveBinder users are aware of. And these are down here are just interactive links that you would normally see on a web page, blog post, even within, you know, a PowerPoint, let's say. So what I've done, actually, just to show you is we'll click on one, and it's going to get right there to the link that I went to. And I'm still within the binder. So that way you know that it's an interactive link, but yet it's not what we're accustomed to creating. So here's what we've done. Let me show you. We're going to use a Google Doc in this case. Now you could use Microsoft Word, Open Office, possibly even Pages, but basically you need a text editor to do this. So what we're going to do here is create three links. You know it's tournament time, so got to keep up with those brackets. If you're not on uh, familiar with Plurk, you ought to take a look at it one of the several social networking or PLN sites that I'm on. As I mentioned, you'll find Mike Fisher, it's Fisher1000, or even find the ladies of LiveBinders on Twitter at LiveBinders. Alright, so here we go. We've got three links, so I'm just going to copy them. I'm going to go into a little demo binder that I have set up. We're going to go in here and go uh, add new tab. And I'm just going to say URL links for the tab. But this is your typical layout of a media page where those of us that are live binder users are used to just providing the URL here. But we're going to go over to edit menu. If you haven't used this before, this is one option that you should but we're going to use the text layout so here's all the templates as you see here's our default one but for this purpose I'm going to go to one column text and I'm just going to say interactive text links we'll get rid of that paste in ours that we've done I'm going to hit save go to close edit menu so this way it goes away now you can work within your binder clicking the links and all but I'm going to use this little present button some of you may not be familiar with this but it's like just going into presentation mode in PowerPoint so I'm going to go to present here's the binder in present mode here's our URL links tab and there we go go to ESPN and as you see, there we go. Here's our web page. So again, that was the quick way of being able to go in and create interactive links within your binder. If you have any questions, please feel free to catch me at dmant7 on Twitter or Plurk, or like I said, Mike Fisher at Fisher1000, or even the ladies of LiveBinders are all on Twitter. Good luck and enjoy live binders.